हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज दीप शिखा एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल द ब्लिसफुल डायरी हियर आई टॉक अबाउट माय प्लांट्स एंड माय होम इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल शेयर विद यू माय मोस्ट एसेंशियल मॉनसून गार्डनिंग वर्क व्हिच इज रिपोर्टिंग माय फेवरेट प्लांट्स nowadays we spend a lot of time in our balcony garden from having breakfast to playing guitar to office work my husband does all this here this has become our favorite place and the monsoon magic is just adding on to it speaking of monsoon magic this magical season is indeed a blessing for plants and I don't want to miss a single chance to take advantage. Today, I am going to report some of my favorite plants. These plants have become root bound and reporting is long pending. I have been waiting for the monsoon to arrive. The first one is this jade plant. Jade plants look great when maintained in shade. It is also a great plant that can be turned into a bonsai. Today, I am giving this plant a nice prune. The more you prune your jade plant, the thicker the stems will become. Eventually, it will look like a bonsai. It's been more than a year since this plant was in the nursery pot. The plant has become root bound and also turned leggy. The plant has a very healthy root system and I am going to change the entire soil. Also, rather than moving it to an ordinary pot, I am giving it a shallow pot this time. Jade plant soil should be very well drained and for that adding sand is a very good option Since I don't have access to sand what I am using here is a store bought succulent potting mix along with some vermicompost Before repotting I am also trimming the roots You can always trim the thin side roots but be very careful not to cut the thick main roots Jade plants are extremely easy to propagate and thus not a single cutting should be wasted. I am creating a hanging planter with jade cuttings. Small, big, thick, thin, you can grow jade plant from any kind of cuttings. Now here comes my bushy erica palm. Erica palms do not like to be repotted frequently. But this plant is totally root bound and this is when it requires repotting. 
the new pot should be just one or two size larger than the previous one. At this point, you can easily multiply your Erika palm by root division. I am preparing a well draining soil which is also moisture retaining. For more detailed information about soil mix, you can watch my video that I already have on my channel. I'll give the link in the description box below. Since it is monsoon, I am adding a little bit of fungicide to the soil. This will prevent the plant from getting any kind of fungal infestation. Now, both of my Erika palms are moved to new pots successfully. A long pending work has finally been done today. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed filming it for you all. If yes, do hit the like button, comment and share it with others. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not yet. Thank you so much for watching till the end.